I'm sorry, but I... Mm, I started this video, and then I just got wrapped up in that... Beautiful, beautiful song. Listen to this. Needless to say, everyone, I am in a great mood today. Well, welcome to today's Rant and Relax. I haven't posted one of these in a little while. But I am in an unusually good mood today. <laughs> I feel awesome. I don't feel awesome very often, so I thought I'd take advantage of this with the video. I picked up Bloodstain just yesterday. It released just yesterday. And I want to do a video where I play through the entire thing. Maybe go a little in-depth. For, for now, I am just going to... Uh, jump in and talk about my day so i'm really sorry for anybody who's coming in right now expecting a what kind of resolution is that that's uh that that'll be better hopefully this won't ruin the video no all right there we go yeah for people who are hoping for an in-depth gameplay maybe you'll find something you're looking for in this or maybe you're not watching my video at all because my channel is fledgling small and insignificant but we're gonna be here to relax. So, like I said, I bought it last night and I managed to play almost an hour of it before I fell asleep, as you see the date on there. <laughs> I started the download, I hoped to play it before falling asleep, and I ended up just conking out. So, we will play here. Actually, the only reason I stopped is because I ended up dying to a boss and I hadn't saved for a while. I hope you'll excuse the face mask. I'm wearing things for the stats right now, rather than how they look. <clears throat> so, I actually don't completely know why I'm having such a great day today. Work went good. I didn't get overwhelmed. Any mistake I made was fixed easily. Almost too easily. I, I can't even say that. It was just really nice. Boom. But... <laughs> Even the entire day, like, we had work, but none of it was overwhelming. In fact, we, uh, we had more downtime. So, I was able to focus on more projects. The day itself, it's beautiful over here in Utah. Absolutely beautiful day. The sun has been shining. And usually I prefer cloudy days to sunny days, but... It hasn't been too hot. It hasn't been too cold. It's just been a pleasure to be outside today. Even the extra traffic driving home, I just seem to find myself enjoying the little moments. And uh, I'll tell you, this is it's very rare for me, alright? It's... I'm pretty sure that I... Mm, it's hard because this is self... Uh, what do they call that? Self-diagnosing. But I am pretty sure that I have depression. That I have some of these issues. And it becomes more obvious on days like these where I seem to love every minute of just being alive. And this isn't a default for me. I, that's why it's worth talking about right now instead of just the usual everyday stits of it. I'm just enjoying myself ever since I got off work, even a little bit before it. I didn't have anxiety breathing down my neck. I didn't have any of that creeping feeling that I'm doing something wrong. I, I, it tried to sneak up on me a little bit today. Just a little bit. But I was able to kind of brush by it a lot easier instead of it consuming all my life. That's right. I am a big fan of rapiers. I like a weapon that is light. And precise. Though this game, it's kind of tougher. I am playing with the 360 controller, as a game like this is meant to be. I want to talk a little bit of my history with the Castlevania series. And technically, this is not a Castlevania game, but it might as well be. It's a spiritual successor. I mostly remember Symphony of the Night, and that was an all-time favorite. I love Symphony of the Night. In fact, there's probably some aspects of Symphony that I prefer over this so far, but... Uh, okay, not having a great time with frogs. But still, this is impressive enough so far. Oh, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Lisa Toad. Maybe part of it is my fondness for the pixelated style of the f of the predecessor. I'm dying by frogs because I don't know how to hit them down like that. All right. Obsidian equipment, fine. And also, I'm supposed to backdash. That's a thing too, which I need to get better at. But I'm just trying to find a save point. I can really use a save point right now. Because there's a boss a little ways ahead. And, and this guy's hilarious. Fancy a ride, you Why? Are you offering one? <laughs> I could take you someplace most interesting. The rub, of course, is that obstacle standing squarely in our path. See? <sighs> I doubt I would be able to push it aside. A shame you don't have a giant hand. <laughs> ah, the wild and crazy things one could do with a giant hand. <laughs> he just leaves it at that. He doesn't say anything else. He just leaves it at giant hand. Well, you know what? There probably is a bunch of wild and crazy things you can get up to with a giant hand. Do I have to worry about that? Yes, I do. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, you all get to see me uh, struggle through this again. Hurrah, hurrah. Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video, at least uh, quick enough to where the thing I put in the oven won't bother me until I'm good and ready and done here. I, yeah, I felt good enough to bake. I, I put some chicken and rice together and I just have that in the oven right now. And that should be my dinner, and that should also be my lunch tomorrow at work. I haven't felt good enough to bake or cook anything. Oof. There we go. Oh yeah, I didn't need the bug with the pooch. Diabrees, alright, good, good, good. Part of my plan is after I get some insurance going at this new job I'm at, I can finally better afford a doctor's visit where I can get some recommendations, find out who I can go to for some mental health. I don't know if it's a psychiatrist, psychologist, or whatever. I just know I could really use someone. To tell me exactly what I do need, because as far as I'm more comfortable diagnosing myself with anxiety and depression just from everything I've read and everything I understand about myself, I'm not going to ask for specific medication. That comes with expert advice. And maybe, maybe they'll even say, no, look, you've been doing good so far, maybe go without the medication. I don't know, part of me wants to feel like I'm feeling right now all the time. A great example is this, I'm not too sure if meme is the right word for it, but there's this image that I just saw sitting around of someone from Twitter saying that he had misgivings about medication before, wondering if he will, ooh, spider sword. If he would have the same creative power, creative drive, after taking antidepressants, and then he said that after a little bit of thinking, he said, well, you know what, I don't care. Someone in my life said, I love you, and I actually believed them. And, forgive my language, but holy hell, that is rare in my hand, my eye, <laughs> in my expertise, like, not expertise, see, I'm flummoxed right now, I can't think of the right word for it. But the fact remains is, a lot of the time, anybody who pays me a compliment, or pays me any kind of uh, attention, or uh, just any nicety, I have a hard time processing that. In fact, there's a little voice in my head that likes to say, well, they must be lying, because I can't do anything good. There's something wrong here. I like this sword. This is a fun sword. Oh, goody. 
That's how you get spells. sword. You know what? It's just not right. And when I listen to Great Courses, which is a wonderful series of... Uh, Great Courses is a wonderful series of... What's the word I'm looking for? Lectures. And there was one in particular. I can't remember the exact name, but it did talk about mental health. And the, the guy spent a great time really talking about how terrible depression is. Because depression itself robs you of your love of life. And it's hard from someone with the perspective of having depression to understand this. And I think likewise, people do, who don't have to deal with depression probably don't completely get it either. And I did run into this before with a former employer of mine who said, you know, Justin, I don't understand you. Hit potion. When I look at when I look outside, I think wonderful day. When I look at that plant over there, that potter, he was giving me a ride, and he points at a plotted plant and says, "When I look at that, I think you know that's really nice. I love the way that's arranged. This guy was a landscaper, and so it's very likely a lot of his business was a uh, very joyful experience for him. The way he saw the world around him, and." I, I don't know how to answer that question. And the more I think about it, the more I thought that any kind of answer I had for him was... Ooh, he died fast. It was unsatis... It was uh, not very satisfying. Not very satisfying of an answer. And maybe I'm rambling right now, and maybe after I'm done with this mania that's going on in my head right now, I'm going to really dislike this video, which is why I should upload it before I get a... <clears throat> well, before anything can happen. Ah, I kind of lost my train of thought a little bit. But that's just my default, is... It's easier to count the days where I feel like everything is fine. Because they're a lot more rare. And... I've never really... I've never wanted pity. And so I never really talked about what I feel uh, is might be wrong with me, if you can call it that. Uh, but maybe that's actually done myself a disservice. But anyway, that's my quest for mental health right now. Is because the way I'm feeling right now, just to sum it up, is how I always want to feel. Just happy to be alive. And motivated. faster. Oh, I, I just like this sword. It's a good sword. So that's mostly been my day today. It's a little bit of exercise, a little bit of work. Uh, making people actually laugh without thinking in my head. Well, I uh, this joke fell, so they must hate me now every five seconds. We're dwelling on... Um, it may be a missed beat of conversation way too long, way longer than I should. It's been a good, good mental health day. And I decided to top it off with this amazing game that's before me, which I have not been talking about. I wasn't too sure about it, but after getting this grinder sword, which might be rare, I'm having a great time. <laughs> it's hitting everything I wanted to hit. Place to go over here? Nope. Let's tangle with an Iron Maiden again. See what's going on with that. There's a way past it other than running right into it. Ah, 
get away from me, please. Oh, thanks for the pig power. I've been going for a good 16 minutes. And I've exhausted everything I can talk about right now. I might do a longer video about Symphony of Night, like a full-on video. I don't think there's going past that. Ah, criminy. I guess I'll have to fight the boss. If I can talk about the game just a little bit longer, is the clothing options are interesting. <laughs> Forgot I was wearing that. It's so dumb, but it gives you so much. I, I don't know what those symbols mean down there yet. The, those two symbols on the bottom of the screen, the red skull thing and that, but that's funny enough. Elfies, it's so... They look really dumb. I don't like them. But, you know, stats. The main character really likes these horns. I despise them. I really... Really hate them. I do not like them. Hairband, please. Simple beauty. Nice blue rose. That's a nice hairband. I like that hairband. As for other clothes, tunic and country dress, they look almost exactly the same. And the only other thing I have is a leather chest guard, which also doesn't show up. So, might as well go with the thing with three defense and actually adds intelligent boosts. So, let's go back to the elf ears and all that other crap and cover it with that helmet, which makes it actually look better. There's probably not anything in this game that... If you're watching this video, you're to the point where you should have seen enough footage of this game to understand that it's good. It is a worthy successor of the Castlevania series. At least from my brief time of playing it, I would agree. Condition good. Now, I am going to attempt this boss. Holy crap. That moon out there. <laughs> I am being watched. I know there's a boss up here somewhere. Gotcha. Nothing can beat this sword. Gah. Transition. Oh, crap. We, uh, we might be holding off on the... Yeah. We might be holding off on the boss unless I cut to it. That was a disgrace. I'm not even touching you. I've lost all that good health. Hmm, what is wrong with me? I thought I could get to those chests, but that was ill-advised, ill-advised, ill-advised. This isn't any faster than running.
I'm a lot better at this sword than you are. Will this be a save room? Hopefully. Nope. Let's go ahead and save now. By teleporting to a place that does have a save room. the save room was a little bit more flamboyant like it has been in the past anyway let's stop this here thank you so much for watching this iteration of rant and relax because that's exactly what it was this time I've done a few well I've done a few attempts in the past but they didn't turn out so well Especially in some bad days where I just ranted about a single person, and I found that sounded a little bit too petty. This, though, I like this. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, hit the bell thing, like, subscribe. Is that how? Honestly, I don't know if you guys watch the video. I don't care what you do. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy your Wednesday, and have a good rest of your day.